lights, the bright lights, the tight, the crowd lights, where you at? Ballers! Ladies love me and men, they wanna be me, they pay to come see me, where you at? Ballers! What's up guys, it is J.A. Cavalier, and this is the NBA Shot Clock for Wednesday. I'm going to be joined by Junior Brown and the Shark. We're going to get you in, we're going to get you out. No fluff, just free picks. Let's go. The beautiful people, Junior Brown checking in with a free pick for NBA Shot Clock on this Wednesday, January 3rd. We're going to be taking the over 247 in the Oklahoma City Atlanta game tonight. I know Oklahoma City played last night. But that game against Boston was played at a very slow pace, and it was actually the Celtics trying to push the pace, running on 43% of their rebounds, versus the Thunder, who only ran on 25% of the rebounds they grabbed. I think that Oklahoma City, in this spot, is a team to bet on, because they've proven in three other situations, on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, they're averaging 129 points per game on the season. And there are only two things that I can count on from the Atlanta Hawks. That's not defending anyone, and putting up a lot of points on their home court. So give me the over 247 in the spot. Let's cash this ticket, y'all. On a suddenly not so casual winning Wednesday, we are going to Minneapolis and we are going to the home locker room and taking the Wolves at minus six and a half, one unit official. Big time stuff for a big time team. A buy low, 0-4 ATS last four, coming off a road loss on New Year's Day in New York City. A team that is four in one ATS coming home off a road non-cover and catching the opponent, the Pelicans, in a brutal, brutal home road back-to-back. -back. Third in four spot where they are 0-2 ATS on the season. And the fourth matchup between these teams already this year. Two words, data abundant, by this number, heavy strength, revenge, motivation, and rest advantage. It is an opportunity to dominate Minnesota Timberwolves, minus six and a half, one unit official. Chicago Bulls, New York Knicks, the Bulls plus nine tonight. I mean, who the fuck was smoking? What were they smoking when they set this line? Give me the Chicago Bulls plus the points. This just feels like free money. The Knicks are absolute trash right now. They've lost three of their last four. In those three losses, New York has allowed an average of 128 points a game, giving up a ton on defense. And the offense, they couldn't hit water. Buckets don't come easy for this team right now. Knicks are ranked 23rd in field goal percentage. Chicago should be able to lock this team down Bulls rank 8th in points allowed, give up just 112 a night. Turnovers also favor Chi-Town. Chicago gives up the second fewest. Knicks force just 22nd most. Chicago will hang around this team long enough. They've covered in 7 of the last 10. New York hasn't covered a spread this big since Sprewell choked out Carlissimo. You may not want the points. You probably won't even need the points, but fuck it. Take the points, Chicago Bulls plus the nine. You can even sprinkle a little bit on that money line. What's going on, beautiful people? Junior Brown checking in with another free pick on this Wednesday, January 3rd for NBA Shot Clock. We're going to be taking the Brooklyn Nets team total under 108.5. I think Brooklyn have quit on their head coach, Jacques Vaughn, who looks like a dead man walking since that fiasco with the rest management situation in the Milwaukee Bucks game. They look lethargic, they look lifeless, they look like they don't care. The Houston Rockets, on the other hand, have a coach who's very secure, who's turned the franchise around through defense. And I think that Brooklyn is going to struggle to get to 100 points against the Houston Rockets team who have a very tough schedule coming up and whose defense has not been up to par, even though I think that has a lot to do with their strength of schedule. So give me the Brooklyn Nets team total under 108.5. Let's cash these tickets, y'all. Winning Wednesday, January the 3rd, 2024, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, Houston, Texas. We're taking the Rockets at minus five and a half, one unit official. Houston is a home juggernaut, started 11 and 1 ATS, a little cold since, 2 and 4 ATS last six, 
but catching upward momentum in game five of a seven game homestand, finding tonight's opponent, Brooklyn, in a brutal, brutal spot. Third in four, road, road, back to back off a loss last night. Fourth game of a four game trip, cratering down on the road. One and six ATS. Last seven, a 3x revenge game for an upstart, well-coached Rockets group. A heavy number, expecting double-digit margin victory tonight. It is an opportunity to dominate Houston, minus six and a half, one unit official. Look, I hate to do it. Miami Heat versus the Lakers. Lakers are favored by five and a half here. And I'm going against my Heat. I'm taking the Lakers and laying the points. I actually love the Lakers in this spot to cover the points at home. Miami's tired, banged up. Fourth game of a West Coast trip. Numbers on the road have not been great. 25th ranked offense. Their effort, and I know, it's hard to imagine questioning the Heat effort, the Heat culture, but it's been declining. Offensive rebounding, which is purely an energy stat, they rank 27th on the road. Los Angeles is going to be able to dominate the glass tonight. The Lakers rank first in defensive rebounds at home, ninth offensively. Biggest issue for Miami is going to be the depth chart. No Jimmy Butler, no Martin, no Highsmith, lack of size. Lakers have covered in four of six in this series. We're going to make it five of seven tonight. The Lakers get this done by double digits. Now, if you like this content, you want more of this content, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you press that thumbs up. Give us the thumbs up right now. We're going to be back here every day for myself, Junior Brown, and the Shark. This has been the NBA Shot Clock. Let's go.